All right, Teofimo Lopez reveals that Vasily Lomachenko did not give him any portion of his purse money to make this fight happen. Now, I've told people this before. I've told people that there's an interview out there that he done where he's already debunked this. He's already said that that thing was a lie, that it wasn't true whatsoever. And even I was saying this before that interview even came out, but the interview is out there. But a lot of people have ran around and said, yo, Vasily Lomachenko is giving a part of his purse to make this fight happen. That's how serious he is. That's how blah, blah, blah. That's how this, 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 this. Listen, at the end of the day, I've told people before, when people print these articles, when they press this stuff up, nine times out of 10, it's fugazi, it's put together, it's a lie. Hell, they just need something to print. Just like content creators need some content to create for today for their channel. You know what I'm saying? It's no different. So people squeeze things through holes and, you know, whatever it is to, you know, compensate on giving content create news, uh, creating articles and stuff like that. So nine times out of 10, you know, you can't believe this shit and the shit is getting pieced together. But I said that that was not true. And I didn't need Teofimo Lopez to confirm it for me to know that. I said, the only thing somebody got to do is use their common sense. Okay. It's common sense. That's all you need. I said, it's very simple. This fight was headed towards pay-per-view, right? Okay. The only thing that derailed it or stopped it was the fact that Teofimo Lopez wanted more money, right? Okay. Vasily Lomachenko supposedly gave up a portion of his purse to make this fight happen. Okay. Now, this is the thing. If this fight was going to be on pay-per-view, and the only thing that was holding up is Teofimo Lopez wanting more money, and Vasily Lomachenko give up part of his purse to make the fight happen, this is the big question. How come it's still not on pay-per-view? It's not hard to figure out. It's really not. What happened was simply this, okay? As you know, Bob Arum is cheap. He didn't want to pay nobody more than what he's paying them. This is what happened. What they did is they took some of that purse money that they were going to pay for Sully Lomachenko, some of that highest gross paying, you know what I'm saying? His highest payday was going to be three point whatever million or something like that. Of course, they're not going to pay Vasily Lomachenko that. What they did was they took that money and they split that up amongst both of them, opted to not go on pay-per-view and just sold the fight to the networks. That's exactly what happened. Because if Vasily Lomachenko gave up part of his purse to to, uh, Teofimo Lopez, the fight would still be on pay-per-view. Because what's the holdup? It was on pay-per-view until then. The only thing that stopped it was, I need more money. Okay, here's more money, but it's not on pay-per-view no more? Let me ask you a question. Do you pay your top fighter the same amount of money for fighting on pay-per-view than fighting on regular television? Of course you don't. Of course you pay them more for fighting on pay-per-view. Okay? So, the three point whatever million that they was going to give Vasily Lomachenko was contingent upon that fight being on pay-per-view. If that fight is not going to be on pay-per-view, then there's no reason to be paying him that three point whatever million that he was going to get, which was going to be his largest payday to this day. Now, let me ask you a question. Is this fight still his largest payday to this day? No, it's not. Because what happened was, is that money got took him back because it's not going to be on pay-per-view no more. If Vasily Lomachenko really went in his pocket to make this fight happen, the fight would still be on pay-per-view. It's not hard to figure it out. You're like, well, why would they do that? Why would they put... At all times, it is to protect this guy's reputation. You've seen what they did to ESPN. Nobody wants to address... Or have a logical explanation for that. We all know what that is. And this is why people can't understand why there's a pushback. Because there's this engine out here to try to make him seem like something more than what he is. And because certain people don't fall for it, some people get offended. I don't get fooled by smoke and mirrors. I know when they're trying to engineer a champion. I know when they're trying to tell me he's pound for pound instead of earning pound for pound. I know the difference. I know the history of boxing. I know how they love to give people these accolades and deny these other people their accolades. I know how this game works. And people are just upset that, what, I don't fall for the okie doke? That's how it is. Now, 
The other thing that was happening, and I was one of the spearheads of this because I was bringing it out to the forefront, and I don't care what none of y'all say, and I've told y'all before, and I think y'all really recognize now. Do not be fooled. These people watch your content, all right? Do not be fooled. Though. Well, I only got 2,000 subscribers. Well, other it don't matter. Trust me. They watch your content. I was putting out there that it's mighty suspicious that Vasily Lomachenko would offer to fight Javante Tank Davis for free. All right? For free. He would offer up his purse money for free, but they're having problems making this fight. I've already said that it looks funny to me that he will fight Javante Tank Davis for free, but him and Teofimo Lopez is having a money issue. I brought that up along with Couple with Notice how Teofimo Lopez need a belt, but Javante Tank Davis doesn't need no belt. He goes, okay. Yeah, now you a champion. Welcome to my club. Blah, 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 blah. Meaning he didn't want to fight Lopez unless he had a belt. Then what wild hair crawled up his ass about Javante Tank Davis? Somebody who at the time was not in his weight class and did not have a belt. But did he need a belt for that? No, he didn't. So what does it look like you want to fight this kid for free? And as somebody who's not in your weight class and don't have a belt, but you but you're telling Teofimo Lopez he needs a belt, he needs to go do this, he's clout chasing, he's this, this, that, and the third. And people start to question. It looks lopsided. So of course then they're gonna come out and be talk about, oh well, Vasily Lomachenko gave up half of his purse because he's already put out there in the world that he'll fight a Javante Tank Davis for free, somebody who can't help him unify at all but somebody in his weight division got to go get a belt. There is no excuse for that. And they still don't have an excuse for that for this day. Everybody accused supposedly of Teofimo Lopez of clout chasing. You want to know what somebody never accused Vasily Lomachenko of? Clout chasing, because that's exactly what he did. You want to know how? It's no secret that Javante Tank Davis did not want to fight Vasily Lomachenko. It, it came out of his mouth and it came out of Floyd, Floyd Mayweather's mouth. So you knew that fight wasn't going to happen. So therefore, Vasily Lomachenko keeping Javante Tank Davis' name in his mouth um, after that is what? Strictly clout chasing because you know that they're not going to make that fight with you. And at the time, he did not help you unify any fucking thing. No belt. It wasn't in the same weight class. So try to justify your so-called goal or your ambition or the reason you started boxing. How do you justify that chasing Javante Tank Davis? Once again, these people got to go earn and do something. Javante Tank Davis is somebody, at least from his standpoint and his fan base standpoint, is somebody who hasn't done nothing in the sport of boxing. But notice how this kid who hasn't done nothing don't have to do nothing to get into the ring with Vasily Lomachenko. But somebody that was in his weight class, he sent around the world. And somebody and another kid that was in his weight class that, that challenged him and that want to fight him and that was his mandatory, he gave up his belt too. Once again, there is no excuses for this. People just fall for the smoking mirrors and some don't. Some are aware of smoking mirrors and want these smoking mirrors up there because they're, they're in love with the image and they're in love with the fictitious outlook of their fighter. They don't really care if they're not the shit. The only thing I'm trying to do is when I speak is I'm trying to put the fire to the, to the fighters like they did back into the old days. I'm doing the same thing that people, I'm doing the same thing to Vasily Lomachenko that was done to Roy Jones in his prime. That was done to Sugar Ray Leonard in his prime. And if you don't believe me, let me give you an example before I leave. Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, one of the best boxers of all time, hands down. Skills for the most part, we really haven't seen replicated. Not, not the whole arsenal like that, unless you're talking about Floyd or something like that. But Sugar Ray Leonard is a legend. Sugar Ray Leonard took on somebody that I thought he was absolutely crazy at that time to do. He took on hands of stone Roberto Duran. Most people told Sugar Ray Leonard that fight was suicide. Still to this day, I'm impressed that he took that fight. You know what I'm saying? I think he had mad balls to take that fight because I didn't see him creaming um, or beating Roberto Duran. But Sugar Ray Leonard is a very special fighter. All right. But hands of stone. Okay. Roberto Duran. The reason why I bring that up is because did you know 
after Sugar Ray Leonard beat Hands of Stones Roberto Duran, did you know that his boxing prowess and pedigree was still in question? Do you know that they were still questioning whether he was a cookie cutter boxer? Sugar Ray Leonard, Hands of Stone Roberto Duran, he beats that man. And he was still questioned if he was a legit fighter. And people giving me shit because I'm putting flame to Lomachenko. Bruce Vane, I'm out. That's all I need to say.